We've talked about what Bitcoin is and about mining, but I also mentioned the term Bitcoin node. What is this thing? What is its purpose? Would you like to own such a thing? And what is the difference between a node and a mining software? Stay with me in this video and we will answer all these questions. Hello there and welcome to my channel. My name is Christina and this is the third of a six video series regarding Bitcoin. If you haven't seen the first two videos, I highly encourage you to also check those. Today we talk about Bitcoin nodes. Although the information here is also true for all cryptocurrencies, we will analyze the Bitcoin network. So what is a Bitcoin node? Well, a full node, or more precisely, a fully validating Bitcoin node, is a computer that belongs to the global Bitcoin network and uses its protocol. By using the protocol, the nodes are able to communicate between them. And the nodes are the ones that propagate transactions and blocks in the network. So in general, the node in the Bitcoin network has the most important role. Each of them has the authority to validate every single transaction and every single block. Such a node can store the entire history of all transactions that were ever done, but this is not mandatory. It also works with a compressed version of the data. So every node in the Bitcoin network communicates with a set of other nodes, randomly chosen and it doesn't trust those nodes. When one Bitcoin node communicates, look, this is a transaction in the network, all the other nodes will doubt the information. They take the transaction and independently verify every aspect of it. They have the authority to confront every transaction with all the data from their own copy of the blockchain. The main purpose is to verify if certain funds have been spent multiple times. This is known as the problem of the double spending and Bitcoin has managed to solve it. If a node receives an incorrect information from another node, it won't only reject the transaction, but it will also stop the communication with the broadcaster of the wrong information. It is easy to understand that a malicious node that is trying to propagate false transactions will soon be isolated, because all the other nodes will ban it from the communication channel. So the nodes don't trust each other. Each of them verifies a block and a transaction entirely and authoritatively. But how is a node different from a miner? Well, as mentioned in the previous video, miners are the ones to create blocks and update the blockchain, while nodes are the ones to keep the blocks. The work of a miner lasts for around 10 minutes. The information in a node remains forever. A miner doesn't care about the history of the transactions from the blockchain. A node takes it into consideration. So miners and nodes are both important parts in the Bitcoin network. Some nodes are also miners, but this is not mandatory. You can become either a miner, either a node in the network, depending on your needs. Why would you like to own such a thing? Why would you like to keep a node in the Bitcoin network? Well, if you hold a light client, for example, a wallet for mobile devices, then you have to also trust someone else for your transactions. A light wallet uses an SPV system. SPV stands for Simplified Verification Payment. Using a full payment verification, an owner holds in his wallet the entire history of all transactions that were ever done. The other users he trades with, buys or sells Bitcoin, also have full payment verification. So for a transaction, both of them will compare the chains of transactions to see if they completely match. But the process takes some time and it is quite expensive. SPVs, on the other hand, make a simpler verification. Was the transaction validated by a miner? Yes. Was the transaction added to the blockchain? Yes. Then we're good. So SPV rely on someone else to validate the honesty of a transaction. The idea of a node is that the user has complete control over his money and his transactions. He has available all other transactions in the network and he has 100% privacy in the network. No one else knows what types of transactions he does, 
and what wallet addresses he uses. For a plus of anonymity, nodes can use browsers that hide the IP address, such as Tor. But Bitcoin fully validating nodes are not precisely recommended for regular users because of the costs. You need processing power and a lot of memory, both space disk and RAM memory. Also, some cheap electricity is of great help. So, for a regular user, generally an SPV wallet is enough. Still, they have an option. They can hold a dedicated plug-and-play system for Bitcoin fully validating nodes. They are available on the market and you can buy them for around, I don't know, $300 or so. Another option is to become a node in the Lightning Network. And this comes with remarkable advantages. But more details about the Lightning Network and its advantages in the next video. This is all I wanted to share with you regarding Bitcoin nodes. This was the third video from my six video series and I really hope the information here was useful for you and that now you have a um, clearer image about what Bitcoin is and why people consider it the future of technology in terms of finances. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done it already, give me a big thumbs up so I know you have enjoyed this video and help me spread the information regarding cryptocurrencies with the world by sharing this video across all social media platforms that you use. My name is Christina, thank you for watching.